speak. Well, the city of Abilene is adding some new vehicles to its fleet earlier this week. We told you about the city's newest street sweepers, and now we're getting more information into how they work. KTAB's Jessica Rank has the details. Some new city wheels are hitting the pavement this week, except these ones come with a few extra bristles. Unlike the regenerative units that we have, these units are a little more robust in the way that they should be picking up material. We got the chance to hop in the passenger seat to see how these vehicles Lower. really work. This one spins the side rooms faster or slower. And while it may look like just dust blowing up here, these vehicles are actually spraying herbicide to better kill and remove plants as well as other debris blocking our gutters. If we can pull that material up and get it as far as removed, it doesn't get into the open channels and the lakes and the streams throughout Abilene. Hoping to pick up more than four tons of extra stuff just laying around. That's enough material that would fill two full-size Olympic swimming pools. And besides the environmental aspect, the city says these new vehicles will also help the roads we're all driving on. You see, when we have things like rocks, leaves, and other debris blocking our gutters, when it rains, this is what causes flooding. Once that gets saturated, we start to run into a lot of problems and issues of failure, and the most prevalent one that people see is, is the presence of potholes. If we can get that water away from the road, we can extend the longevity of the life of the roads. Especially now when most key city roads are being fixed. Yes, there's a substantial cost in those street sweepers, but overall, we feel the cost to benefit that we're going to derive on those um, is going to be substantial. All right, thank you, Jessica. Now, the cost of the four sweepers was $1.22 million with money approved last November by the Abilene City Council. Well,